Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cast King channel. My name is Julian, I'm from Bite the Bait Fishing. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Cast King Speed Demon Bass Rod Frogging Edition. And we're gonna go out and we're gonna chase some largemouth bass and snakeheads. As you guys know, we are doing the technique specific series on the new Speed Demon Bass and Speed Demon Pro rods from Cast King. We've already covered three different rods, but today we're going to be covering the Speed Demon Bass Frog Rod. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there are huge frog fishermen all over the country. Everybody loves throwing top water. So, this right here is a rod designed for you. A couple quick details on the Speed Demon Bass Rod Frogging Edition. This rod is a 7-2, seven, 7 feet, two, 2 inches. This right here is an extra heavy frog rod. Really powerful. It's a pretty decent sized weight rod, pretty lightweight, but you could really tell that the top portion of it is really heavy duty. It got the Fuji line guides with the Alkanite rings that we've been talking about in this whole entire series. Really awesome quality. And it has the cork grip right underneath the handle with some EVA grips as well. Really nice, comfortable rod. Let's go ahead and tie up and start fishing. Let's see if they'll hit right on the bank. You see them right there? They're right right in front of where my frog's going. They're the right there. Oh. That was a hit. There we go. Oh. That might be a bass though. No, that's a snake, dude. Is it? Yeah. yeah, it is. I'm skating him in. Little snake. Hey. Not a bad one though. Good start to the day. Good start to the day. Anybody got pliers? How do you hit? No, I don't actually. He didn't hit too hard. That's why I thought maybe he was a bass at first. Bam. First little catch you guys of the day. Looking for these guys, but much, much bigger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. Oh my. Oh, that's a good one, dude. It's another little one. No, no, he's bigger, dude. He's bigger than the last one. Back to back snakes on the back same back, spot, man. my dude. Good job. Number two, you guys, take a look at all those little white spots on these the little speckled bullseye snakeheads. This guy is super dark. But man, let me tell you that this new rod, it's stiff and it gives you some really nice hook sets. Damn, what a cool fish, man. What an apex predator. Bam. All right, let's get another one. You think we can get another one with that frog? That's asking for a lot. Whip it, whip it, whip it real hard. Whip it, whip it real hard. Bam, bam. Oh, that's a good cast right there. Let's see if we get wrecked here. Oh, something just boiled. Didn't commit though. Little tiny snakes in there. You want to try to get them or should I try? Where? Right where that brick is, there's two. You see that brick? Yeah, I see. They're right behind. There's one on it and then there's one behind it. Really small one, smaller than the ones that I caught earlier. I think it's like sticking its head inside of that hole. Oh yeah, yeah, I see him, yeah, swimming around. Get him. I'm gonna try to get him. Make sure I'm recording here. Nice. That was a beautiful hook set, dude. Perfect timing. Good call, brother. Yeah, that's a good one, bro. Yes. That is a good Look fish. at the color on that beaut. Dude, timing was excellent. That was perfect. All right, time for a thumbnail right here. Yeah, this is a good thumbnail. He's All so right. bright, too. He's good for picking. Look at wow, that. Look at his spots. Yeah, he's beautiful. Guys, this guy was like, you guys know when you got that eight ball that you got to hit on the corner pocket? That was this it, shot dude. right there. Right that was this corner. shot right there. Oh, man, these are prime. Okay. All right, you guys. Mega catch right here. This is the third snake of the day. Absolutely putting the new rod to the absolute test. These guys right here, absolute monsters on top. They pull super hard. They test out the real durability of a rod. And so far, I gotta say that this rod is an A plus rating on it. Gonna go ahead and keep fishing. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Oh, something hit it and missed it. Oh. oh you're on fire, bro. Oh, bass. Is it a bass? <laughs> And he, cho he, he shook off the, the I thought it was a snake. little guy, but man, that was fun. That was a, he hit twice, came back for it. <laughs> I want top water, bro, because I ran my swim bait right Bam, there. you guys. Bass for the video. <laughs> Snakehead video with a little bass action. He's actually a little fat guy, but not bad. Nice little, nice colors on him. He looks fresh. He's pretty, yeah. Yeah, he's really fresh. Healthy bass. 
Yeah, for sure. Oh, you got it right where I wanted to throw it. Oh, I got hit too. Oh, look, what is that, a bass? Oh, that's a, what the heck? Is that dude? What the? <laughs> You get that on camera? I got that on camera. Oh my gosh. Second bass, man, on the frog rod. You, could, you just caught that on a sinking frog. On a sinking frog, you guys. Crazy. <laughs> what did I do with my hook? Oh, wow. That was cool. That was cool, huh? Was I think cool. that might have been the one that hit on the corner and chased it all the way over. Yeah, probably. Because of the way he was so aggressive towards it. It's cool to watch him just like... You saw how he turned? Like he, he like stopped, looked at it, and went wham! It's good to see that the bass are chewing. So one of the important tips that I can give you guys when it comes to snakehead fishing, largemouth bass fishing, and what's really cool about these Speed Demon bass rods is you want something that's going to be tough, something that has plenty of backbone that's going to really be able to stand up to the fight of, let's say, a snakehead or a big largemouth bass. A rod like this, the Speed Demon bass rod 7.2, it's extra heavy power, heavy power rod, has plenty of backbone and plenty of power to fight the fish. You're gonna to wanna to definitely be set up with some braid, 30 pound plus braided line. I got 50 pound Cast Pro set up on the reel right now. Really awesome. You're gonna want that drag tightened down nice and buttoned up really tight because those snakeheads are gonna death roll on you. They're gonna be going all over the place and the bass, they might get you up in the weeds and everything. So you definitely want some good braided line. You're gonna want a rod with a lot of backbone. This rod is perfect for anybody that likes frogging. Honestly, I've been using it now for the better part of two months. I've caught a ton of snakehead on it, I've caught a ton of largemouth bass on it. And I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it if you guys like throwing the old frog. Let's say for a lot of you guys that are coming down to South Florida and you wanna do a little snakehead fishing. Now, snakehead don't make their way all the way down to Miami. You gotta fish from Broward County North. It's kinda of like a, the little gap between Broward County and West Palm Beach County. Um, so definitely stick to those locations right there for the snakehead. You're gonna want some darker water. Uh, they like to get really nice and tight on the bank. So when you're gonna cast your frog, you're gonna to wanna to cast it really close and parallel to the bank line and something like this you're gonna to want to get it nice and tight so if you look at that I have it right along the bank I'm about a foot and a half to two feet off the bank right there where I'm throwing it and you're gonna to want to work it quick these snakeheads it's all about a reaction strike they got their noses right up into the rocks and the second that that frog pops right over them they boil up and they just snap at it it's absolutely action-packed really big adrenaline rush a lot of fun you guys definitely got to try it out so that's one of my biggest tips that i can give you work it really really close and tight to the bank line and of course the other things that i mentioned as far as the gear all right you guys that is going to wrap things up for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for stopping by the cast king channel make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet go ahead and like today's video if you enjoyed everything we brought to you and if you guys want to see more videos with myself it's bite the bait fishing on youtube and instagram if you guys want to check me out and subscribe got all types of videos freshwater and saltwater and uh that's going to do it for us today thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on the next one peace